Speaking of the Suns, we are one on one with owner Matt Ishbia tonight in our Sunday conversation. Win at all costs. Some teams talk about it. The Suns, they're about that life. That's the biggest thing we've learned in Matt Ishbia's first year owning this team. Money grows on trees, and the players, they got the message. It's kind of putting it on us now, too. You know, like I'm, I'm, he's doing his part, and like we got to do ours. Yeah. In other words, put up or shut up. He's traded for big name players. He's upgrading their current facilities. And this week, he spent even more money announcing a new G League team that's going to come play here in the Phoenix area. And you get to name it with an online contest. But why was it so important to give the Suns a G League team once again? Well, it's, it's a big part of developing our Phoenix Suns organization is by having a great G League organization. And so we haven't had one. We're the only team in the NBA that doesn't have one, which is, you know, crazy when I bought the team. I realized we got we to gotta figure out how to make this happen, and we have now made it happen. But it helps develop talent, and it's also great for the fans. Another, another game that people can go see. It's high-quality basketball. So we're excited about it. We're going to have this team ready for this season coming up, and uh, we're excited about that change. I love the contest because it throws, it pays, you know, homage to the original contest of naming the Suns. Who came up with that and what are you looking for from fans? Yeah, well, just creative ideas. You know, we want everyone to vote on whatever they think. They, this is their team. It's not Matt's team. This is the Phoenix community's team. And so and we're excited to see all the great ideas. And I know there's a lot of them already coming in, which is exciting. We're going to name it from one of the fans' ideas, not, not from my idea, not from our marketing people's idea. We want the fans' idea. Matt, it's been an unbelievable first year of ownership. Have you ever just taken a step back and kind of seen everything you've accomplished in your first year owning the Suns? It's unheard of, I think, at least in my eyes in sports, to see an owner come in and be this proactive to make their team better. That's that's the North Star every day. Is, are we doing something that's helping us win? If not, let's do that. If it, we're helping fan experience, the community, what are we doing stuff for the culture of the team members? Like everything we said we're going to do, we're going to do. And I know maybe that's not normal in other situations, but for us and what I'm talking about, I said I was going to do it. We said we're going to do it and we're executing and we're not perfect. We're never going to be perfect. We're gonna make, we have some missteps here and there, but hopefully the, the fans and the community know that I work for them and our job is to do what they want. And I, I'm a fan my whole life. And so what did I want the owner to do? The things that we're doing right now. And so so hopefully the fans feel that and recognize that we're all in. We're pushing forward, trying to do the right thing, and we're not going to be perfect, but we're trying. The biggest thing, you listen to the fans. Like I, I know you check your emails, you write back sometimes. Like You hear what they want and try and make it happen, right? Absolutely. It's, it's their team. When you walk around the, as a normal fan, what do they come up to you and you say? Know, they're, they're excited to see me. They're appreciative of the trades and the players we have. They're excited about the team. They, they talk to me a lot of times about the Mercury and how we really put a lot of effort and energy into the Mercury. I love hearing that great feedback, and if something's not great, I try to solve it. You've added players. You spent more money. Where's the money tree, by the way? <laughs> Where's the money? Well, we got, it seems problem. endless. No, it, you know, it, the goal is to win a championship. Nobody's going to say Matt made this much money or lost this much money running the organization. Nobody cares, right? I have enough money humbly and nicely. I, I've done okay. My job is to help win a championship for the Mercury, for the Suns, and, and we're going to try to win a championship with the G League too, right? Like We're trying to win at everything we do. It's not something I just say. And so if it costs $20 million more for this trade deadline change, but Royce O'Neal is going to help us win, like, we're going to take that. We're going to go get some wins. What do you make of the team you put together, and can it win a title? Absolutely. Absolutely can win a title. I told you at my press conference being before the season, I thought we had the best team in the NBA, best roster. I thought that. I still think that, and I think we upgraded that roster. It takes time, and people don't like to wait, just like I don't like to wait either. But the truth of the matter is we got a great team. Our goal is to win an NBA championship, and we're going to try. Does that mean we're going to win it? No, but we're going to try.